lot of things that I read about obviously are autobiographical. When I have things that I need to work out in my life, I definitely write a song about it. And it's, it almost seems like it's okay now. I wrote about it, it's a done issue. I can move on now with my life. Looks like a flood's got the land of fences. Scream and I scream, but you know what I actually started playing guitar when I was 12. I begged my mom for a guitar for a whole year and finally my grandma stepped in and <laughs> got me a guitar. I just remember thinking it was the most beautiful thing I think I'd ever seen. I like songwriting and performing my own material because all of my favorite artists from all across every genre, every decade, have been pretty much completely self-contained units. They write their own songs, they write their own material. And I really think that when you get a person like that, that I think that you can connect more you know, to more people, you can connect to your audience more, whoever happens to be listening, because it really is you. It's not somebody telling you what to sing or telling you what it's going to sound like. It's like, this is how I feel, this is what I've experienced, and hopefully you can get something out of that too to help get through your tough times or whatever it is in your life too. I really wanted to explore different types of guitar-driven music in all kinds of different genres. Right now I'm in Colorado Springs at Triax Studios where I recorded my first album which is called Guitar Music Prism. I really enjoy you know, guitar-driven music from all kinds of different people, southern rock, more traditional blues to modern rock, things like Audio Slave, even some math rock on there. So basically it was whatever I was into at the time. Whenever I hear a song of a certain genre, I think, ooh, I want one. So I just made each song like what I was listening to. So let's say I was listening to Allman Brothers for months and months at a time. So I made a Southern Rock song. And I was listening to Math Rock for X amount of time. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a Math Rock song just so I can kind of explore different genres. I just wanna spread my music and be able to do what I love for a living. So. It's gonna be a lot of work touring and just building a fan base really from the ground up, just trying to get as many people as possible to hear it. My biggest influence of all time is Hendrix. Pretty obvious if you listen to any of my stuff, I think. I first heard Hendrix when I was, actually I was pretty late in the game, I think I was 15 or so. So I actually picked up Hendrix to annoy my mother, was the, was the, the first thing. And the first song I really remember focusing in on was the Star Spangled Banner actually. I just remember standing in front of my radio just completely entranced. I was the goner from that day on. I was like, that's what I want to do. I don't care. This is the best thing ever. I really like a lot of modern blues artists like uh, Derek Trucks, Joe Bonamassa. I like a lot of New Orleans blues, and I'm a big, big fan of really good songwriters too from the past and present. Bob Dylan, of course, you know, the Beatles, all the classic kind of stuff, but even modern songwriters like Elliot Smith. I like people who withstand the test of time. I think that's the most important thing to me. Life is like a really long hallway with all kinds of doors. And unless you get out there and try some of them, you'll never really know your true potential. This is Crystal Black and you're watching KVTV. Please do not put that in there. <laughs> oh my God.